Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stream and Go. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to fix a broken remote. We're going to also talk about how to fix a fire stick itself if it goes out, and also an application. Before we get started, I want you to please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive my weekly videos. Now, the first step, what we're going to do, we're going to look at we're going to look at how to fix an app, like when the app stops working. It's real simple. You can do it one or two ways. The first way you can do, you can uninstall it and reinstall the app. You can do it that way, which to me is a long way, um, but I prefer the second way. Now, you can, you can do the first way if you like, um, but the only way I do it the first way is the second way don't work. But the second way, what we need to do is we go over the settings, and we want to do, we want to find an app that don't work. All my apps are working, but I'm just going to pick one um, just to show an example of what we need to do. So once we go to settings, we'll drop down and we want to go over to applications. And that will give me a list of all my applications. So once we got our application highlighted, we want to click on it. And you got your different options right here. Now what we want to uh, click on is manage install applications. So we'll just go down. And we'll highlight manage install applications. Once we got that highlighted, we want to click on it. And once we click on manage install application, here you see the whole list of all my applications that I have installed on my Fire Stick. And like I said, we're just going to pick one. And we will pick, um, we'll pick this app, um, Amazon Music. Um, I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. Like I said all my apps work, but I'm just choosing one just show you just to show you what you need to do, just in case your app don't work. So we'll uh, highlight Amazon Music. Now, what we want to do, we want to click on it. Now you got your different options. Um, this name of the app first. Then you got your four star. You got clear data and clear cache. Now there's two things we want to do right here. We want to um, four star and clear cache. So we'll click on four stop. We'll go down and clear cache. And we'll click the clear cache. And actually, it's good to clear your cache whether you're out working or not. Because when you clear the cache, it free up just a little bit more space on your file stick. Now it's not it's not as much when you clear when you do one application, but doing all the applications that you have on your file stick, because the application can pile up on your file stick and take up a lot of space. And before you know it, you'll be seeing that low critical storage uh, popping up on your screen, saying that you need to fill some more space or you won't, you know, pretty much won't be able to install any more applications. And that's what happens when you install a lot of applications, these installation files get on there and it builds up. Um, but I do have another video on about how to free up space. If you look in the free up space, you can always go look at my video on freeing up um, extra space on your file stick, but it's always good to go in and clear your cache whether you see your, um, whether your file stick getting low or not because it just keep your file stick running more smoothly. And so the two things we want to do, if an app stop working um, on this step right here, is four stop and clear cache. And like I say, the first step, you can always uninstall it and reinstall it back to get it back working. Um, but that's um, how you do it with the, um, the application itself. So we click the home button, go back to our home. Now, the second thing, the second step is if the Fire Stick itself start working. That's the Fire Stick that hooks up into your HDMI. If that start working itself. Now, um, well, there's two things we can do with that also. Um, the first thing we can do, we can simply just go unplug it out the wall and plug it back in. They automatically reset your file stick. And so sometimes that file stick do get hung up. The first step, like I said, you can just go and unplug it out the wall and plug it back in. Or if you're sitting on the couch and lazy sometimes like me, you just don't want to get up, this is what you can do. You can push two buttons on your remote, the play pause button and the select button, which be the uh, round circle. Now I'm gonna come up a little bit closer and let you see what I'm talking about. You got your play pause button and you got your select button. You click them both at the same time. Now, we just want to hold that pause button, select button like I told you. And we're just going to hold it. Don't press it, just hold it. And once we hold it, just hold it. And as you can see, your Amazon Fire Stick, it will power off. 
And once it power off, it will come back on. So we just give it a little time for it to come back on. There's just another way, if your fire stick gets stuck, just another way to reset your fire stick itself. Now there's two ways. The first way is unplugging out the wall. And the second way is holding down, once again, the play pause button and the select button, which would be the round circle right there on your remote. You just push them down and hold them down. Don't just press them. You hold it down for just a few seconds and then automatically, if you'll see where it's saying, the fire stick is powering off. And so that means it's resetting. Now we're just gonna give this a few minutes to come back up. But um, we also gonna talk about the third way, which is the fire stick. And while this coming up, I can still be talking about what you need to do with the fire stick. Now, fire sticks, um, by just buy a fire stick itself without the, all the other attachments, the fire stick pretty much runs for about $30. Now, if that don't, if that do not work, you'd be better off just buying another fire stick. But most of the time, when you uh, finna do what I tell you to do, it works. So what we can do, what you do is on the home button on your remote, you hold it down, pointing towards your TV. You hold it down for about what 20 seconds. You hold it down for 20 seconds, and it may not do it on the first time, but I say at least around 10 times. Now don't do it at least within that 10 time. It's time to get another, another fire stick or remote, whichever way you want to go. But you hold this home button on your remote down for 20 seconds. And like I said, once you do it for like um, 20 seconds, and if it does work, you'll see it'll come right up, it'll come up in a corner, and it'll tell you um, that your fire stick is now paired up. Because um, um, I have did it a couple of times uh, with the fire stick, just stop working for whatever reason. But let me say this. But the first thing you need to do before you do that, check your batteries in your remote. It may sound a little crazy, but you'll be surprised at the people that had the batteries turned the wrong way inside the remote. So first thing you do, just check your batteries. Uh, you, you may not have them turned in the wrong way, the wrong way, but they may be dead batteries. But I will check the batteries first before I go doing this. Because if the batteries turned in the wrong way or they dead, doing this for 20 seconds, it doesn't matter, it won't work anyway because of your battery. But first thing is check your batteries, please. Um, because people have put them in wrong or they have had dead batteries. But like I said, you hold that home button down for 20 seconds. And once you get past that 10 time that you have that, and sometimes it may take six, seven, and it may take 10 times, but just don't, don't give up. But you just keep on pushing that button down for 20 seconds and, on, and it should do it about 10 times. Um, but it may not take that many times, but it may it may do it may not it depends on the remote itself but like i was saying the remote itself if it doesn't work the remote itself costs about thirty dollars you might as well get another fire stick because you got the 29 dollar light fire stick and then you got your 39.99 um fire stick and then you got your 4k fire stick for 49 so i my personal opinion if i have a remote that don't work and i can't get it to work I just go ahead and get another fire stick. Um, just um, if you want uh, the the 4K or whatever, just just you know, ten twenty dollars or whatever. And so, but but nine times out of ten, doing that the way I told you, the remote will work. And so there's three different ways we looked at. First, the application. Um, two ways: if your application gets stuck or stop working, um, you can always uninstall it and reinstall it back. Then, if that doesn't work, or where that, that will work, but um, the second way is go up on your settings and um, click on the manage and style applications and click on force, force stop and clear cache. And like I said, it's always good to um, clear your cache as a um, routine thing to do to keep that space freed up on your fire stick to keep that fire stick running smoothly. And the next thing we looked at is the fire stick itself. Um, we can simply unplug it out the wall to reset that fire stick or the fire stick will get hung up sometimes. That's just how it is. So you can unplug it out the wall. Uh, like I said, if you land on that couch, don't feel like getting up a lot of time like myself. You can push that play pause button and the select button at the same time. Just hold it down for a few seconds. And as you seen when I had did it, it powered off and then it came back on. And so and the next thing was, was the fire, was the, um, the remote itself. 
And like I said, hold down for 20 seconds. Give it 10, at least about 10 times. Pass it 10 times. It's time for either a new fire stick or a new remote. Which my opinion, with the remotes costing about $30, I just get another fire stick and be done with it just for more dollars. Uh, but like I said, nine times out of 10, that will work with the broken fire stick with holding the button down for 20 seconds. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me in the link below. And as always, I said, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to receive my weekly videos. I hope you have a great day. God bless.